What's going on, Vault Dwellers? It's Top Ranking Noob, and I'm back at it again with another helpful video for Fallout 76. And hey, if you guys want to check out some really cool Fallout 76 gear, make sure you head on over to U4GM. I'm going to be putting a link down in the description, along with the coupon code that's going to save you 5%. A couple of days ago, I showed you how to make Pure Flux and how to use that to craft Ultra Sight Ammo. I'm going to be now starting a series on the best place to farm Raw Flux in order to craft Pure Flux, also known as Stable Flux. And today I figured I'd start with Cobalt because that's the most common question that I've been asked is where can I farm Raw Cobalt? So if you guys find this video helpful, make sure you smash that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you hit that bell, you'll be the first to be notified anytime I find new locations for this. And with that being said, let's get started. So I just launched a nuke, and I launched this nuke at a fissure point, but not a typical fissure point that you see often when you're in a server. I dropped this on the fissure point that's just to the east of Sunny Top Ski Lanes. I believe it's Sunny Top Ski Lanes. Right next to where the pumpkin house is. And the reason why I did that is because there's a consolidation of corn there. And when corn is radiated, if it's in a blast zone, then it's going to drop that raw cobalt that we're looking for. Now, this might not necessarily be the best place on the map, but for the time being, it's the best place that I found. One thing worth noting here is that you're really going to benefit if you have the green thumb perk card equipped. If you don't have it, get it. It only costs one perk card. But if you have it equipped, you're going to be able to reap twice as much harvest whenever you farm these flora. Also worth noting is even though this is not Fissure Point Prime and there's not going to be a Scorched Peace Queen, there's still going to be some relatively large enemies there, so it never hurts to bring some large artillery or a couple of friends. Running through the woods, I also managed to find these Blast Berries, which do drop raw yellow cake flux. So since we're here, it makes no sense not to pick it up. The nice thing is they're really easy to see because of the background or the, the environment is kind of really doled out. It's gray, brown, uh, and these blast berries are like a bright red, so they're easy to see. After I ran around and double-checked to make sure I collected everything, I did end up with a total of 56 cobalt and 11 yellow cake. Now the thing is you have to have 10 of each in order to craft a single stable or pure flux. So I don't have enough to craft two yellow cakes, but I do have enough to craft five cobalt. Now seems to be a good time to talk about another perk card you want to equip before you start crafting these fluxes though, and that's called Super Duper. If you have this leveled up to rank three, you're going to have a 30% chance to get double results anytime you craft anything. Now in order to craft the pure flux from this raw flux, we're going to need a total of three other ingredients. We're going to need highly radiated fluid, we're going to need glowing mass, and we're going to need hardened mass. Now you're going to be able to loot that from any of the enemies that are in these blast zones. But as I mentioned in one of my prior videos, the best way to farm those three items is actually by uh, going into a blast zone at the White Springs Resort, just because of the sheer number of enemies there. So you probably picked these up in the past and either just walked past them or sold them to the vendors. But you always want to make sure that you have a supply of these before you get the raw flux. And the reason why I say that is the raw flux degrades unlike the other three materials. And it degrades really fast. So make sure you have highly radiated fluid, glowing mass, and hardened mass. One more thing to note on that hardened mass is it's the only item that goes in your junk loot, which means if you got a bunch of it on you and you die, you need to run back and pick it up before somebody else does. Once we have all of our ingredients, we're going to head on over to a chemical station, find the nuked flora option, and there we're going to be able to uh, craft our flux. Uh, so in this case, I, I was able to craft a total of five. I had super duper active. It only triggered once, so I walked away with a total of six cobalt flux. Uh, so if you do this zone, you could expect anywhere between five to seven-ish, just depending on how lucky you guys are. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you guys know of any areas where we can better farm these locations, whether it's cobalt, yellow cake, or any of the other florals, let us know in the comments. I really appreciate the information you guys share with us. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you all next time.